Hey there, tech fans. Today I'd like to show you the replacement extractor assembly for the AnchorMake M5 3D printer. Now I've been using this printer ever since it was released and it's an incredibly easy printer to use. So if you've ever thought about getting into 3D printing, the M5 could be a good choice because unlike a lot of other printers on the market and certainly older printers that required a lot of babysitting where you had to adjust it, you had to level it, you had to keep an eye on it because filament jams kept happening. With this printer, once you assemble it and there's like six screws to put it together, you can start printing the day you bring it home. So it's incredibly easy to use and it's a whole lot of fun for the family. And I use this printer a lot. And what I mean by a lot is I print every day. I'm printing 3D puzzles because I like solving puzzles. The family will look up STL files they want me to print for the holiday. So we're constantly using this printer. And lately I started experimenting with what I'll call exotic filaments that were, were something that the printer just did not like. So I found that when I started printing with certain filaments, I'd get print head jams and I'd clear them out and clear out the clogs and it would print for a couple more days and it would jam again. Then I'd change the print head and eventually it got to the point where I thought, you know, I should take the extractor apart and really give it a good cleaning. But then I started thinking, why would I not have a second extractor unit? So I went online, I found this one and lo and behold, AnchorMake, who's a great company by the way, has improved the extractor unit. So there's a difference with the replacement unit than there is with the original. And I'll show you what those differences are in a minute. But it's really easy to change the extractor unit. And there's a video on the um, Anchor Make site that shows you step-by-step -step how to change it. But I wanna show you some of the differences between the two extractors that make changing it out even easier. So stay tuned and I'll show you those differences. Then I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this unit. And more importantly, about the extractor that I'm gonna replace on the unit in a few minutes. Okay, I've got the two extractors side by side. That's the replacement extractor, the new one. That's the older extractor. And if you look closely, they look very similar. You've got venting on the side. You've got wheels on the back that hold it on the actual rail. Uh, the differences you're going to notice start on the back. Now, if you've ever had to get inside the extractor on the old one, you've had to take these two screws out. First, you pop the top off. Then you take these screws out. Then you pop the case off. Then you remove these two screws, and underneath the case in the front, there's another screw there that pulls the bottom off. So that gives you access inside the unit. With the new one, you'll notice there are no screws at the top. They've gotten rid of those screws. So essentially with this one, you can pop the top off just like this, and then you can pop this off as well, and you don't have to take any screws off. So they've made it a lot easier to actually pull it apart to get to that screw in the front. If you have to drop this down to actually replace it, it makes it a lot easier. So the engineers have thought about, again, how you're gonna use this, how you're gonna change components, how you need to get inside of it to clean things up, and they've just made it a whole lot easier. I also think they've done some extra supporting on these units. I don't know, side by side, I'll have to compare them, but they seem a little bit beefier than the other ones that were on the original. That's only loose because I took it off the rail. But you can see it's an exact replacement for the unit. And again, I've got to spend some time with it to figure out if the print head is better or it's a little bit more durable, or maybe the heating unit is better, but essentially it's a direct replacement for the original and it's a lot easier to put the new one on because that case pops off and you're not dealing with all those extra screws. I hope that was helpful. And again, Anchor as a company is constantly evolving and improving their products. And this replacement extractor is a good example of that because their engineering team probably looked at the original build for the extractor and thought to themselves, boy, there's a lot of screws in that case we gotta pop off just to get the plastic away from the guts inside. Could we eliminate some of those screws and just have the case pop on and make it a whole lot easier for folks that have to change that extractor later on? And that's exactly what they did with the new product. Now, in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna pull the old one off, pop the new one on, and I can promise you that already I can tell taking the old one off is a lot more work than popping the new one on. So if you've got the M5, and you're having a lot of print head jams and clogs and things that you are frustrated about, or maybe you just got some wonky behavior out of your extractor, this replacement extractor is incredibly easy to change and it'll breathe new life into your printer because everything inside here is new. So hopefully you found this review helpful and thanks for watching.